Okay, so I wanted to talk about um, this whole thing I'm doing with like, um, you know, it started off as a side business and then turned out into, you know, what it is today. And um, one of the major issues that I'm running into is uh, like a schedule. You know what I mean? Like actually setting aside a schedule. Now, I understand the whole idea with the society that we're living in and why they have it set up as a system the way that they do in some retrospect for the fact that, you know, uh, you work so hour to so hour and you wake up at a certain time with your alarm and you have a schedule to keep on the calendar and so on so on and so forth but the whole idea of when you become let's say your own boss and then you have to make a schedule for yourself well you have the hours of your business but then even more so if you're working out of your own home getting up and then creating a schedule and making sure that you stick to it and all that fun noise uh, seems to be a little bit, it was a rocky start for me, a little bit of an issue for me. I think uh, the main problem was I've always had no issue when it comes to, um, I've never had an issue when it comes to doing things in an orderly fashion or being meticulous about things. But then when it comes up to me, and deciding my own instead of just following something like a mindless drone it turns out it's a lot harder than I thought it would be <laughs> um, I'm so used to always having things to be do it now do it now and do it the right way do it the right way the first time um, don't do anything half-assed you know if you're gonna do something do it now and it's always rush, 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 rush. And I got so used to that in my life that I literally, um, when it comes to me making the decisions for myself now and being more at ease and not in a panic state and not in a frame of mind where I have to be in defense all the time, when it comes to just calming down and doing things in a paced manner and not rushing everything, almost like a cow. You know what I'm saying? Like they're black and white, they got the balance there. All they do is graze all day in order to feed themselves like efficiently. They're a large animal, but that's all they get to do. They are the most peaceful, one of the most peaceful animals there is. And, um, I think society slaughters them. Anyways, get back to what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> we, I think the whole system is set up for us to go, 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 go. And then it wants to be, uh, things set in convenience, right? Because if you have no time to do stuff, the more convenient things are, the better. But then the thing is we start forgetting, you know, how to appreciate uh, certain things like I mean a home is put up in like less than what a couple maybe a, a couple weeks not even and like the houses the way they're built now I mean compared to the ones that were built before one will stay standing the other one will break apart and fall to pieces so easily because it's built so quickly there's no um, love and care or attention to detail put into much and that's too bad but um yeah I was just thinking about that being patient is I think one of the biggest lessons that I have to learn it's not an easy one being patient waiting I have uh, was talking to a friend of mine I've been sowing seeds for so long and now sitting here waiting for my turn, just waiting, 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 waiting.
being patient. And when it comes to things like my skin or um, my business launching off and everything, all the work I put into it and so many different things. And now, since I put my boundaries down, I'm not just going to settle for certain things. Um, I have respect for myself. I have value and worth in myself. But that also means that I'm not just going to settle for anything. If I'm being approached with a, a deal, or if I'm being approached by a certain particular individual or something, like uh, the bare minimum crumbs that I was getting previously in my life, um, like there's just tiny little things that are being, you know, I think, I think it depends because there's some people that have barely anything and yet they're willing to offer you so much. There's people that have so much, but they are rarely willing to offer you anything, but maybe a breadcrumb. It's weird how that works. Um, I still wish to help other people. I still want to, um, share what I can with people. I still continue to fill my own damn cup and I drink from my own cup. Uh, as far as sharing it with other people now, I'm not really eager to do that as much anymore. And yeah, I set my boundaries down because I got uh, screwed over a lot in my life. But patience is one of those things too that I have to work on, not just a trust thing. I can trust all the people I want, but, um, is going about it in a smart way. Mm. Just slowly coming out of hermit mode after healing a whole bunch of things internally and externally. Um, I thank everybody that's been there that supported me, even the ones that support me in silent. The ones that are like, yeah, go Amanda, but I'm not going to say your name. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. You too. Thanks for that. It does help. And um, all my subscribers. Feels weird saying that. But yeah, thank you to you guys as well. Because it, it does give me the incentive, more incentive to continue to do this. And it does make me feel appreciated. You guys make me feel appreciated and valued in the sense that the words that do come out of my mouth have meaning to another person. They're not just being shot down or dismissed immediately like it's uh, worthless, which is nice. And um, if you're deciding to do something for yourself, um, if you've got the programming in there that's telling you that you can't do it before you even start, that's something you got to take a look at. It's hard to fight that, especially if it's been programmed in you for a long time. But if there's something you really, really, really want to do, deep down, you know, that's what you want to do. Don't let anybody stop you, not even yourself. Because sometimes uh, the programming that's in there is not who you truly are. It was just placed on you. And it's okay. It's a process. We all got to learn certain things at certain times. And I still got to work on my... Um, the difference between being confident and cocky. Because sometimes I felt that my confidence was being cocky when it's not. Because there's so many people around me that maybe didn't have their own sense of accomplishment or their own sense of self-worth. They felt like uh, projecting that negative energy onto me that I was being cocky when I wasn't. I was being confident. And it just messed with my head even more because I already had an issue with self-esteem. <laughs> so it's like somebody that's finally starting to you know, see themselves up at the top and then somebody going, oh, well, you shouldn't feel that way. Like, and then you're like, shit, maybe I shouldn't. No, no, F that, F that. Like, come on, come the frick on. That's bullshit. Anyways, I'm, I'm still working on that. So patience and self-confidence and uh, 
definitely I don't I don't want to come off a certain way to people like I'm throwing it in their face I am my own cheerleader I am self-promoting I'm doing the work on the laptop and um, connections and and all that other stuff and I'm doing it by myself I'm not paying somebody to do that so um, yeah if it feels like I'm just like here you're all my art stuff in your face like oh my god take a look at this check out this link do this do that just have patience with with me please just a little, uh, I've got to have patience can you have patience in me too <laughs> please don't take it the wrong way and if I say certain things that are a trigger to you I tend to do that um, if you watch me long enough, you will notice that I have a tendency to bring not the worst out in people, but make them take a look inside internally, make them take a look at certain things. And um, no, I don't have a piece of paper certifying me as a therapist or anything like that. But um, I do believe that I can help heal another individual based off of what I've been through. And I'm very confident in that. And um, some people are going to like what I say. Some people are not going to like what I say because it'll be triggering. That's okay, too. They can watch. They don't have to like or subscribe or they don't even have to watch it all. They can click off. Either way, it's a choice. Free will. And I have nothing against them for that. <sighs> there were a couple other things I wanted to touch on, but um, oh, I'm not being... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, supported by a Vista print or nothing but that. But their cards are freaking amazing. I got a my business card. It's like a shiny pearl. Oh my god! You got to see it. I can't. I can't not show it. I'm so excited. It's like a shiny pearl. I don't know if you can see. Uh, no, you can't really. Anyways, it's very nice. Good quality. And uh, I got some stickers or adhesive labels as well. They did a really nice job. And it, it came in the mail so quickly. And no, I'm not being, um, they're not paying me no money to advertise. But you know what? Like, they... This is helping me, so, uh, and at a decent cost as well, and everything's pricey nowadays, so if you're starting your own business, um, don't let anybody stop you, don't let anybody get in your way, as long as you're not harming other people, I mean, I see no reason why you should not follow your dreams and, and go on your own journey, and when it comes to healing, everybody has different stages, and different levels and different blockages that we can remove. I'm dealing with some blockages right now personally that I didn't have last month. And I think energetically I understand where it's coming from and certain individuals that may be projecting onto me. And it's, I need to be able to get past that myself because if I raise myself up, certain frequency certain level then that shit won't even have an effect on me but um yeah that's a whole other thing in itself hmm. anyways um oh it's a self-promoting thing so yeah if you want to see more of my stuff uh, my artwork and my writing skills and I still got to add some stuff to it it's uh, smart alternative muse art dot com it sounds so weird I have no flashy buttons click here or click here I don't know how to do any of that I'm still learning mm, give me tips or pointers down below if you want because <laughs> I'm not the most tech savvy, but I am learning and I am determined and I am willing and able to get as far as I can possibly get with my entire 
business thing that I'm doing. Okay, thank you again. Um, have a good week and next time I have something intelligent to say, I'll pop up on here, I'm sure. Or maybe I'll dance or sing. I haven't done that in a little bit.